Hi, let's check hidden features of the Samsung Galaxy A35 5G. And I'm gonna start guys with adjusting the refresh rate because on that device you can manually select your refresh rate which could be really helpful if you notice that there is not enough smoothness on your screen while scrolling and so on. So to simply fix that problem, we would need to open settings on the phone. Now we would need to find our display tab. From here, choose motion smoothness. And now we got two options, adaptive and centered. So if your screen is not smooth enough, you should select adaptive because it adjusts your screen refresh rate up to 120 Hz, making your screen smoother. But it drains battery quickly, so if you want to get longer battery life and save your battery, you should choose standard option, but you'll notice a bit of difference between adaptive and standard because with standard you get not so smooth scrolling but this could be really helpful if you would like to save your battery throughout the day so you can choose standard and then switch to adaptive option at any time and to choose that option you'll need to hit the button apply and the changes would be applied immediately you can check it right here under motion smoothness now let's talk about navigation. So on that device, as you can see, I'm using buttons such as back button, home button and to open recents. So this is more comfortable option for me. But if you want to have like more modern design, like on iPhones or on latest Galaxy models, you can switch to another option, which would be swipe gestures. So here on the bottom, instead of buttons, you'll got one line and you'll need to perform gestures to navigate through your phone. And to switch between buttons and gestures, we would need to open settings again. And now let's use the search bar and manually enter navigation bar. And yep, here it is. You can find it in your display settings. So let's select it and now as you can see, as I said before, we got two options. We can choose between buttons, which you can see on my display right now, and between swipe gestures. So let's tap swipe gestures and now we got this line on the bottom of the display, making it more modern, making it more cool, I guess. So to go to your home screen, for example, you'll need to simply swipe up real fast like that. To open recents, you'll need to swipe up and hold your finger at the middle like this. Now you can close any app you want. And to switch between recently opened apps, you can just simply move that line right or left like that. So as you can see, it's working. And you can also go back if you just swipe from the edges of your screen like this. So from the left side or from the right side, which is also pretty great, but I prefer buttons. So I'm just gonna switch to that button option one more time. Now, another cool feature on this device, which you maybe haven't noticed yet, is object eraser. So we can erase anything we want from the photo, from the picture, and let me show you how. For that, we need to go in gallery, choose a photo, and I want to remove this thing. I don't know what that is, maybe a lizard, something like that. And to remove it from this cute picture, we would need to simply tap the pen icon on the bottom. And after that, we need to tap on those four dots and choose object eraser. So after you selected object eraser, you need to tap or draw around you want to erase. So if I'll tap on that lizard, as you can see, it does not cover its lag. So I'm just gonna discard the changes by tapping this arrow and simply draw around that lizard. If it's not lizard, I'm sorry guys, I don't know what that is. So now it's selected the full lizard and 
All is left is to tap that erase button and wait a couple of seconds and pff, it's gone. So the picture now is just perfect. We can immediately save it by tapping that button. And now here you need to choose save by tapping it. And we got two options. We can increase resolution or keep current. So the image will look sharper if you increase resolution, but it will also take up more storage space. I don't mind it, so let's choose increase. And now save. And now let's check the result. And here it is. So we just removed lizard from the photo and just we can enjoy this cat picture. Another feature I want to share with you guys is we can hide some apps on home screen and app screens. So for that, we would need to press and hold any free space on the home screen. From here, simply choose settings. And after that, we would enter home screen settings. So simply scroll down till you could see this tab hide apps on home and app screens. After that, we need to tap it and you'll see a list of your apps which you can hide. For example, we can hide Facebook by tapping it. And now, as you can see, it appears in this hidden apps folder. Let's choose something else. For example, I want to hide Spotify. Let it be Spotify. We are going to tap it as well. And let's hide YouTube Music and YouTube as well. So here we can see four apps in hidden apps folder. We just need to tap down button to confirm that we want to hide those apps. And now if we try to search for YouTube, for example, or Facebook, you won't find it on your homepage. You won't find it in your app drawer. And even if you try to use your search bar and enter Facebook, you won't find it here either. So as you can see, this feature is working. You can hide whatever you want. And to unhide it, you will need to simply go back in your settings or you can press and hold your homepage and from here to settings and simply go in hide apps on home and app screens. And to unhide them, you will need to tap this minus button on the top of the icons app and simply remove it from that list and tap done. And now let's simply find Facebook. Yep, I can see it here. And YouTube music appears as well. And we can search for YouTube. And yep, it appears as well. So that is working and this is pretty cool, I guess. So you can hide anything you want and simply unhide it just in like two steps. Now let's talk about always on display. So when you will lock your device, you can tap it and check always on display. As you can see, it's really dark and you can here place your notifications. You can choose some widgets. And this is pretty cool if you wanna use your phone, maybe in your class and school, so you don't want for it to be so bright and shiny. You can just search for your new notifications on your always on display so you can check them on your always on display and to enable aod which is always on display we just need to go in the settings here let's simply search for always on display and here it is now we will need to tap on it i misclicked tap on it like that and tap on the switch here to make sure you can see the status on and after that, you can customize it. You can choose to show music information if you enable it. You can choose when to show. So for example, enable tap to show as I did before. You can choose always as scheduled for new notifications. So just choose any option. Let's select always for this video. And after that, you can also check some information about always on display. And if you want to change its clock style, for example, you need to change the clock style on your lock screen first, because always on display duplicates everything you can see on your lock screen. So if you'd like to see some widgets, notifications and so on, you need to add them to your lock screen first and they will appear automatically in always on display. Let's try this out. I'm going to lock my phone. And 
now you can see always on display so here is the time here are my new notifications my battery percentage and of course date so this is pretty helpful if you just want to check your new notifications or time and don't want for your phone to be so bright and shiny now i bet you didn't know about this feature which would be extend unlock so to find it we'll need to go in the settings as usual and from here just enter extend unlock freeze and now we can find it and before you will go in this section make sure that you selected screen lock type first for example i got pin code now we can select it enter our current pin code and after that let's tap got it button and we got three options so we can keep this device unlocked while it's on you at specific places that you trust or near your trusted devices for example we can go in this on body detection we can enable it and now after you unlock this device it stays unlocked while it's in motion like when you're walking with it and this device will stay unlocked for up to four hours or until you put it down which is also pretty great so just unlock your device enable this feature and that's it also we can choose trusted places so here after you unlock this device it stays unlocked as long as you add or close to trusted place this device will stay unlocked for up to four hours or until you leave one of your trusted places for accuracy this uses your precise location so if you don't wanna enter your pin code or password and so on all the time you can choose trusted place and simply keep your phone unlocked while you are at your trusted place and the same goes for trusted devices so after you unlock this device it stays unlocked when it's connected to a trusted device listed above like a bluetooth watch or car system this device will stay unlocked for up to four hours or until it disconnects from all trusted devices so just think about it this is pretty cool you can connect your phone to a car you can select your car like a trusted device and now when you'll be traveling by your car you can simply select it as a trusted device and your phone will not lock because your car is a trusted device and you can easily use your map and don't worry about entering pin code from time to time so yeah just select any option and use it i think this is pretty cool that they added those features to this device and of course another feature would be screenshots so to take a screenshot we will need to take a look at the right side of the phone here we need to find the small power button and this volume down on the volume pad so you need to hold volume down and power at the same time you will need to press on them at the same time and now as you can see we took a screenshot so we can immediately edit it we can add hashtags and we can share it to any social media so for example you can edit it you can draw something on that screenshot of course you can crop it resize we can share it and of course you can save it by tapping this save button and if you open gallery you'll see in albums that this album with screenshots appears by default here you'll find all of your screenshots and cooler way how you can take a screenshot is with the help of palm swipe gesture so you just need to swipe across the screen with your palm and as you can see we took a screenshot let's try this out one more time i'm gonna swipe like that and yep it's working so you can enable it if you just go in the settings here in the search bar just enter palm swipe to capture and make sure that this feature is blue if you would like to use and enable this feature and now in screen recordings we can actually record screen with microphone enabled which is 
helpful for tutorials, for example, or if you're recording any game and want to make some comments. And to enable it, we just need to swipe down two times from the upper right corner to trigger our control center and find screen recorder. So if we tap it, here you would see how you want to start your recording with sound or just with media. So we can enable media and microphone here and of course we can enable show taps and touches. So now when you'll start your recording and will be tapping on the screen, it would be represented like a white dot. So for example, if you're making a tutorial, you can enable microphone and say something during your recordings and you can enable show taps and touches for the person to whom you're making a tutorial, see where you touch the screen, where you opening some features, for example, and so on. Let's try this out. I'm gonna tap start recording. And now after this three seconds countdown, you'll see this floating button, which you can drag anywhere across the screen, by the way. You can open any app, but for example, you cannot record Netflix app because you'll see only black screen. So now when you'll touch in the screen, you'll see white dots and you can pause this recording and resume it later. You can draw something if you tap on this pen icon and you can stop this recording at all and save it to your gallery. So let's check it. I'm gonna open my gallery and yep, here it is. Also, you can see this white dot whenever I'm tapping the screen. And that's it. And we are almost done, so keep watching this video because at the end I'll show you the coolest feature ever. So, for now let's open settings. And now in this search bar we would need to enter screen saver. So let's just enter screen saver and we can find it in those display settings. If we tap it, we can show a screensaver after the screen turns off automatically while your phone is charging. So we got some options. For example, we can choose colors, we can tap on preview and check how it will look while the phone is charging. As you can see, we got this pretty shade and range of colors. I like it the most. But we can switch to photo table, for example, and now we would need to choose photos that will appear on the screen. For that, simply tap the settings icon and here you'll see all of your folders. You can choose to select all or just one folder like that. Now we can tap on preview and this is how it will look. So your photos will appear on the screen like that. And now let's just go back and basically the same goes for photo frames so you'll see the same result as in photo table and of course we can enable google photos here so you can select something from your google photos and tap on preview to simply look how it will look on your screen and you can disable it if you select none option and the last feature I want to show you guys may be not so helpful, but kind of impressive. So you can show it to your friends and impress them. And you just need to go in about phone tab for that. Here, find software information. And after that, you'll need to tap several times on your Android version like that. And now you can see this cool Android 14 animation. You can make it in a landscape view and now you just need to hold that icon and everything will go faster and it would be vibrating and after that you would see this mini game with jetpack like that and you can play here which is just pretty cool i guess i like this feature i didn't know about it till maybe two days ago so now you can leave the page easily if you just press home button and after that you can close everything and yeah that's it for today if you enjoyed this video please subscribe like and comment and i wish you all the best bye bye